Hello and welcome to Ask Brevity, the series where we answer questions asked by you. Today, let's talk about CGPA and their importance when it comes to placements. Before we begin, I would like to say that this video is completely based on the experience Team Brevity faced during the 2020-2021 placement season. Here is the agenda for this video. First, we'll talk about the various categories of companies that come for placements. Next, we'll talk about the placement calendar where we will understand what categories of companies come in what month. Next, we'll talk about the categories of offers that you'll receive during placements. Moving on, we will talk about the company selection and subsequent eligibility criteria. Next, I will show you some of the companies that came so far this year for placements. Then I will talk about our experience with the new normal, online placements. Then we'll get to the portion of the video dedicated to CGPA and how much it matters. I know a lot of you were waiting for this. So without much further ado, let's get started. VIT categorizes companies in the following way. First, we have the slot one super dream companies. These are the most sought after and they are the ones which you all should be gunning for. They will be offering a CTC of over 20 lakhs per annum. Next, we have the super dream companies which offer a CTC of around 10 lakhs per annum. This is further divided into Super Dream IT and Super Dream Core. Next, we have the Dream Companies, which offer a CTC of around 5.5 lakhs per annum. And they are divided into IT and Core as well. Finally, we have the Mass Recruitment Companies. They will be offering a CTC of about 3.5 lakhs per annum. Now, I got quite a few questions about the placement calendar of VIT. It is available on their website and here is a screenshot of the same. In the month of January and February, you will be having your PAT registrations, where students without any standing arrears will be allowed to register. Following that, you will undergo placement training for two months until March. After your summer vacations, if we have summer vacations this year, in the month of July, the game begins. Slot 1 Super Dream companies will start arriving. And before you know it, they will conduct their tests and select their candidates. Following that, you'll immediately be facing the Slot 2 Super Dream companies which will come in the month of August and September. You can expect Dream companies to come in the same period as well. September and October will come as a huge relief to many as these are the months of the mass recruiters and a lot of people will get placed. Following October, you will have the slot 3 companies which are scheduled to arrive in the month of November, where we can expect both Super Dream and Dream companies as well. Finally, we have the slot 4 placements which are scheduled to be in the months between January and April. Moving on, what are the categories of jobs that you may get? Well, this is easy. There are basically just three options. Internship only. This means that you'll undergo a six months internship period at the company and based on your performance, you may be given a full-time position at the same company. So if you do get an internship, make sure you put your full efforts to seal the deal at the same company. Next, we have the internship plus full-time offer, which is probably the best opportunity you can get. You will undergo a training period of six months in the same company as an intern, following which you will become a full-time employee at the same company. This is particularly good because you get to understand the work culture and your team before you even become a full-time employee. As a bonus, this internship will be a substitute for your 20 credit capstone project course which you are supposed to do in your 8th semester. Finally, we have the full-time offer which as the name suggests, is a full-time position at the company and you don't have an internship period beforehand. This means that you'll have to do a capstone project in your 8th semester. Now here is another common question. What happens if I get placed in one company? Can I still sit for the companies which come after that? Well, 
That depends on three things. Number one, what is the category of company that you got selected in? Is it an super dream company? Is it a dream company? Is it a mass company? Is it IT or core? Number two, what sort of offer did you get from the company? Is it a full-time offer? Is it an internship only offer? Or is it an internship plus full-time offer? And number three, are you a CSC department student or a non-CSC department student? Here are the various possibilities which can occur. So you got a full-time offer in a super dream company. Good game, well played. You have won. Thanks for playing. This also means that you're no longer eligible to sit for any further placements or internships. So you got an internship offer in a super dream company. Good job. You need to work on converting the offer to full time. This also means that you're no longer eligible to sit for any more super dream companies. However, you can sit for dream and mass companies after this. This makes sense because let's say that you do an internship for six months in a super dream company and for some reason whatsoever you do not get placed in the same company. Then you can fall back to your backup option which is a dream or a mass company so that you won't end up without a job after the placement season. So it's a very good idea after you get a super dream internship to try sitting for a dream or mass company and get another opportunity as well. So you got a full time offer in a dream IT company. Well, if you're a CSE student, you can sit only for super dream companies, both internship and full time. But if you're a non CSE student, in addition to sitting for both the super dream companies full time and internship, you can also sit for the dream core placements as well. So what if you got a full time offer in dream core? This means you can sit only for super dream companies, both full time and internships you're no longer eligible for Dream IT or another Dream Core company. Moving on, let's say that you got an internship offer in a Dream IT company. Well, this means you can sit for Super Dream companies, but only full-time and not for internships. In the same way, you can sit for Dream Core companies, only full-time and not for internships, but you're free to sit for any of the mass IT companies you like. What if you got an internship offer in a dream core company? Well, you can sit for super dream companies, but again, only full time and not for internships. You can sit for dream IT companies, again, only full time and not for internships. But you can also sit for all the mass IT service companies as well. So what happens if you get a full time offer in a mass IT services company? This does not restrict you from any sort of super dream or dream placements. You are eligible for all of them, both full time and internships. This IT service company which you are placed in can function as a backup and you can try to improve upon that by trying to get a dream or a super dream company. Here are the companies which came during July for the slot one placements. If you want to get into one of these companies, Subscribe to Brevity and watch each of our videos for the next few months. It is our goal to get you all into one of these slot fund companies such as Amazon, Work India, PayPal, AppDynamics, DShaw, Morgan Stanley and Udang. Here are some of the super dream IT companies which came this year so far. These include the companies such as Microsoft, Apple, Walmart, American Express, Techion, Flipkart and so on. These are just some of the companies which came. I obviously cannot include all of them. If you want a more comprehensive list of companies, you can always check VIT's official website. Here are some of the super dream core companies which came so far. These include Amazon, Apple, Flipkart, Arm, Texas Instruments, Medtronic and so on. Here are some of the dream IT companies. These include Oracle, Hexaware, Virtuosa, Intel, Deloitte, Bosch, Barclays, Verizon, Standard Chartered Bank, Amdocs, and so on. Here are some of the dream core companies which came so far. These include LNT, Valio, Tata AIG, Alstom, MRF, Volvo, and so on. Finally, here are some of the mass recruitment IT service companies which came so far. Note that some of these companies have dream IT equivalents as well. 
TCS has TCS Digital and CTS has CTS Next. These come under IT Dream companies. Now coming to the service companies, over 2400 offers were made to VATNs last year in this category. If you want detailed statistics from the last few years, go and check out VAT's official website. They have detailed statistics for all the previous years. I will put the link down in the description below. I know you all were anxiously waiting for the CGPA portion of the video. Well, here it is. I asked my seniors the very same question. How much CGPA is good for placements? This is the answer I got. Anything above 8.5 is considered to be amazing. And anything between 8.8 .8 to 8.9 was considered perfect. But anything above 9 was considered bad. Surprising, right? Here is why. Companies used to have an upper cutoff limit, where if your CGPA was above a certain point, you would not be eligible to write for the company. This is rumored to be because companies will usually not prefer 9 pointers as they consider them to be too ambitious, and they would be worried that they would leave the companies very soon to greener pastures. But this was not to be the case any further. People who followed this advice got blindsided. Enter COVID-19. This was the first year of the pandemic and we faced the new normal. Online placements. A boon to some, a bane to many. Now what do I mean by that? Everything had changed. Online tests were conducted on HackerRank and HackerEarth. Interviews were conducted over Google Meet and Microsoft Teams. Pre-placement talks were conducted on Zoom and WebEx. Those who adapted survived. So to answer the question, you need to understand that CGPA is now super important. It is the first criteria that companies look at while shortlisting candidates for the first round of interviews. However, once you get into the interviews, CGPA is almost insignificant. Your DSA skills, computer science fundamentals, and language and behavioral skills, as well as your interview experiences, are the things which make the difference in the end and get you that dream placement. Does this mean that 7 pointers will never get placed? Absolutely not. It's just a bit harder. Does this mean that people with arrears can sit for placements? Absolutely not. No exceptions here. Clear all of your arrears before your 7th semester, else you will not be allowed to sit for placements. Based on what your CGPA is currently at, here is the advice that I would give for those who are currently in their pre-final year. My first point is general advice and does not pertain to any particular CGPA level. Practice coding regularly and get those gold badges on hacker rank for your preferred language and get certified. I would hold out on lead code until team brevity covers the frequently asked topics and each week you can solve lead code based on these topics. For example, currently we are on week 2 which is a 2 pointer week. So you can try solving two-pointer based problems on lead code. This is a general advice. Now let's get specific. If you clicked on the video, you belong to one of four categories. Nine pointers, almost nine pointers, 8.5 pointers, and less than eight pointers. So let's break each of these down. Category one, nine pointers, the place to be. You guys are at the place to be, but remember you have two semesters left. So don't be complacent and ensure that you retain the nine pointer status. It would be a gut wrenching feeling if come July, your CGPA is stuck at 8.99. This happened to one of my friends and it was honestly a very difficult thing to get used to. At the same time, you got to realize that the CGPA you are at is the perfect one for these companies. Very few companies ask for a CGPA which is about 9.2 or 9.3 and it's almost insignificant to try to push further. You'll be able to apply for almost all the companies that do arrive. So instead, do a few projects with the industry standard technologies 
such as React, React Native, Cloud, Databases, etc. This will make a huge difference when you are able to add these skills to your CV and you are able to show projects to the interviewers based on these topics. It can really make the difference in you being rejected or selected by your dream company. Category 2 Almost 9 pointers Go catch up Now, this is a very special category to me. It's because it was a category which I fell under when it came to the 6th semester. And I tried to focus as much as possible because I knew that if I was able to push it to a 9 CGPA, it'll make a huge difference. So I worked really hard in the CAT 1 and CAT 2 exams as well as all the digital assignments. In the end of the day, I ended up with a GPA of 9.65, which propelled me from 8.85 all the way to 9 CGPA. This ended up making a very big difference for me come placements because I realized that I was eligible for more than 95% of the super dream companies. If I was 8.95 or below, that number would have dropped to around 80-85% to of the super dream companies. In the end, the company which I got shortlisted in also ended up taking anyone above 9 CGPA. So if I hadn't pushed in the 6th semester, I would not be where I was today. So, I would encourage people in this category to really, really, really focus on increasing that CGPA as much as possible and hit that 9 CGPA. Trust me, it'll make a very big di difference come placement time. You can thank me later. At the same time, try to make one or two worthwhile projects for your subjects as well. This can make a big difference when you add it to your resume and show it during your interviews. Some of the projects which I had done during my college days turned out to be the talking points during my interviews. So I would encourage you to stop copying uh, projects from GitHub and other sources and actually bring together a team and try to build projects that actually make a difference and push you to work harder. These are the projects which end up getting noticed in your interviews and can make a huge difference in whether you get selected for that company or not. This applies to all four categories and is not limited to any one of the categories. Category 3 8.5 pointers Safe, but is it safe enough? This is kind of similar to the category 2 um, portion as well. Because you guys will have much more opportunities if you try to push your CGPA to around 8.7 or 8.8. .8. This is because from our experience, people who are 8.7 or 8.8 .8 were eligible for around 80% of the super dream companies. Whereas people who are around the 8.4, 8.5 range were eligible for around 70%. This might not seem like a big difference, but every opportunity and every interview experience matters in the end. At the same time, also start building up your resume with projects and developing your skills. And do not forget to practice coding on a very regular basis. Category 4 You like living dangerously, don't you? This is a semester you have to work like you never have before. If you can push for it, focus on that. Do internships and re-registration simultaneously. Try to do grade improvement and somehow hit that 8 point CGPA. Focus on projects and improve your skill sets. Work hard daily. It's no secret that your opportunities will be a bit limited come placements. But there are opportunities. You got to make the best of what you've got and ensure that you're better prepared to compensate for the CGPA deficit. Hope that covered all your questions. I tried to make this video as comprehensive as possible and have answered the queries that I've received so far. If I've missed anything, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below or in our official Brevity Discord server and the moderators will be more than happy to help. If you found the video useful, do like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. We are in this together. This was Rob. You're watching Brevity. Thank you and goodbye.